Hey everybody, welcome to Ron's Computer Videos. I bet you didn't even think my 2GS had a lid. So just like most other videos that I do, um, it all starts with an idea. It's just something that I'm kind of interested in, uh, like a given week or something like that with the 2GS or like my Apple II or my 2E that kind of sits over here. You see the edge of, ooh, it's beautiful, the edge. Um, my 2E or I've got a, a, a 2C as well. And I've got a video that I'm going to do in the 2C like coming up in the next week or so. But uh, short term, uh, something that I'm kind of interested in this week is the uh, total replay. And uh, it's been talked to death. Everybody and their uncle has a total repa replay video and that's fine. But something that uh, maybe most people don't have is a joystick. Like lots of people, I, I've seen like videos and stuff where people are like, like, well, I only see so many games. And I guess the, the whole thing is you gotta have 128K of RAM. That's the first thing. And the second thing you gotta have is a joystick if you wanna see all the games, cause it'll automatically detect. So uh, what I did is I, um, I, I started looking on eBay and you know, I, I kept getting priced out of the market on um, like some of the, uh, the kind of the big name joysticks and things like that. And it was very frustrating. And I was like, yeah, oh, man, it's, I just remember growing up, we had like the world's worst uh, knockoff kind of joystick and it would like, it never worked. And it was always a pulling off in one direction or the other. So uh, what I decided to do was investigate modern options. And that is where the uh, simple joystick for Apple II uh, kind of came into my life. And I, it's just like a very super duper basic joystick. Um, and that was the thing I didn't know. It's, it's, it's got like some foam, some uh, funky foam. I guess if you watch Adam Savage stuff, uh, it's got funky foam on the back. So that way that... Um, it will uh, not short out and stuff. But, uh, you know, the buttons, little tack switches, they've got like a good feel. Um, you got a couple of uh, uh, potentiometers so that way that you can kind of dial in um, X and Y coordinates and stuff. I've not played around with any any sort of other adjustments or anything on this, uh, but you can dial it in pretty good, uh, pretty easy. Um, there is a, a button you know, you got another tack that's built in. That's just, this is Ada fruit. This is like off the shelf kind of stuff. But um, the whole thing, I guess uh, as a bit of history, um, Waz uh, put one port on the back of the Apple II and everybody knows it's a paddles port because what was Waz's favorite game? Yeah, it's like Breakout. So um, he... Uh, didn't really care about the rest of it. So I guess all of these are just kind of have, it's a, cl a kludgy sort of hack of his original hack. Uh, so that way that you got to think that uh, the port on the back of like the, the two and the two plus and all that type of stuff supports like two uh, paddles just sort of like on the Apple, or I'm sorry, like on the Atari 2600, uh, because it's basically, it's two potentiometers. You've got like left, like basically one was left and right. And the other one was kind of like up and down. Like you think about it. And then each one has a button. Um, but, uh, what he ended up using is like some weird funky, uh, jazz that, uh, you don't, they don't really make, I guess, those potentiometers anymore. So it, it's kind of tough to, to make those joysticks. So people have other designs that kind of borrow the ideas from his stuff and, and do work. But, um, there, there's also some, um, really neat, uh, sort of, um, uh, like craft and, and other in the uh, mock and all these other companies that make those kind of classic joysticks. Some of them pop up on eBay on occasion, but I, I again, I'm, I'm priced out of the market. So anyway, so I watched a, a video that um, was part of Kansas Fest last year that um, everybody's favorite uh, sort of uh, retro writing king uh, put on a presentation where he talked about refurbishing joysticks and stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, that's really cool. So I need to just keep an eye out and see if I can find um, like a, a nice refurbished original kind of old school joystick 
Um, you know, because this is neat, but it's not like maybe the same with Choplifter and some people's nostalgic experience of how they want to play all this. So I think I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and, I, and I'm going to boot up uh, Total Replay and get some gameplay footage um, just so you can kind of see maybe a little bit of the responsiveness and all that type of stuff. But I think first I should probably go check the mail. Hey, you'll never guess what just arrived. Ooh, it is a care package from everyone's favorite retro writer, Javier Rivera. Can't wait to see what's inside. I bet y'all didn't think this was gonna be an unboxing video, but here we are. So let's go ahead and let's see if we can get this puppy opened up. And get look at some of that beautiful retro joystick action. Um, Javier uh, posted this online and was kind of looking for somebody because he did that cool video about rebuilding all these. And um, and I thought, you know, it's uh, he's kind of the guy for this. So I would say that um, buying this is probably a pretty safe bet. So, but here we go. It is a, um, a Kraft KC3 joystick. Um, probably gonna have to dial it in a little bit, which means we get to also write a, a little basic program so that way that we can, uh, yeah, I know that there's others, but this is like, it's just, it's for, for fun. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's hook this up and let's see if we can dial it in and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we're gonna write just a super quick uh, little basic program that is gonna read the positions from that uh, joystick so that way that we can adjust the, um, or just see if we need to adjust uh, any of the uh, trim pots on it. So, all right, so here we go. We're gonna 10 print uh, PDO, uh, looks like position zero. PDO uh, one uh, go to ten. I think this will do it. All right, so let's uh, let's run that. Okay, so as you see, um, uh, it does need some very uh, little tiny adjustments here. So let's go, let's go full, full on either direction yeah because you can see how uh you know it screwed the numbers up because that could have shifted in in shipping so i think our ideal number is like 127 i think that's our ideal sort of okay so there we go i got that one dialed in let's get this other one going oh wait i overshot it oh uh, coming back around yeah these things are just a tiny bit temperamental. Again, they're just, well, see, just adjusting that one, uh, knock the other one off. Ooh, ooh, so close, so close. You know, that is, uh, that's pretty darn good. So let's, let's stick with that, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead. I'm gonna set this back down, set the joystick back down. I'm gonna go ahead and reboot and let's um, let's load up Total Replay. Forgot about the turbo. Okay, there we go. Total Replay. What do you know? Hey, 217 games. Super nice. So, uh, how about a uh, Choplifter? That's probably a good place to start. And I've honestly not played enough of this to know for sure if isn't it Choplifter. Hmm. All right. Well, uh, I know Hard Hat Mac. Let's 
will get me where I want to go. Oh, there's Choplifter. Lord. Okay. Okay. Choplifter, yeah, the gold standard for all these games. So here we go. Let's try it. Oh, the first sortie. So. Oh, well, I'm flying backwards. I'm pretty good at that. So let's uh, let's flip around. Hey, look. No, I'm kind of slowly remembering. Oh man, uh, this is embarrassing. Oh there. Hey, look at that. Oh wait, these are my buddies. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not meaning to murder you guys. Oh, you son of a gun. All right, let's try this. Uh, well, in any case, uh, all those poor dudes. Oh, son of a... Right. Oh, did I get him? All right, I love it. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, I got murdered. I guess that's going to happen. Okay, so... Uh, I would say I kind of like um, using like a real joystick. It feels like the real. I, now, granted, the one my parents had uh, was just awful, and I'm I'm pretty sure it was a it was a, a super cheapy because I I'm pretty sure it also had like the ability to like do PC stuff, um, or it would also work on a PC, and that's just. The crappiest crap, uh, you know, to just not do anything well. I I can definitely tell that you can tell that when I was in school, I played a lot of like Lemonade Stand and <laughs> did a lot of logo programming. I uh, I did not play Choplifter. Okay, all right, come on, guys, come on, let's go, let's go home. I, I mean, presumably home. I mean, I don't know. Oh, oh, gotta go. Sorry. Wait, is this where? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, okay, hit the edge. Let's turn around and go back. Take him back home. Rambo would be proud. So. Uh, I did play some other stuff. Oh, yeah. Hey, look. I'm back behind, back here in the good old United States. They're, they're waving goodbye. Oh, man. This is the best game of Lemmings ever. Okay. So I'll go back out and see if I can find... Oh, wait. Oh, the helicopter -y kind of jet. See, I, I guess I don't remember some of this stuff. Sure don't. Sure don't. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Uh, I think... Uh, I don't remember what you press to get back to it. Uh, but here we are anyway. Um... Conan's actually quite a bit of fun. I dig that game. Um, so let's try that. And I, you know what? And this is very, this is really, this is hitting me right in the in the nostalgia. Uh, using a um, like a real joystick instead of like a game pad. But I mean, that's kind of the modern experience that people have. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. There we go. A little dark crystal action. Or dark castle action. <laughs> oh, is this going to work? Do I... mm, might be one of those games where you actually you got to kind of tell it that you have a joystick. I'll have to look that up. Alright, so. Craft. I'm going to give this a uh, 10 out of 10 on nostalgia. And, uh, yeah, kind of fun. Um... You know, so this is the experience. This is kind of more of the experience that people are familiar with uh, using like a real deal kind of joystick to play all these games. So let's try the game pad.
All right. So now I've got the the game pad hooked up. And um, and again, this is kind of a different experience. It's very small and it's kind of um, like, I don't know, maybe I have big hands, who knows? But um, uh, like I'm, I can kind of like banana for size, I guess, or comparison. Um, but the, um, like a 2G, or I'm sorry, a, uh, like a, uh, NES controller is like maybe not that much bigger than this. So, all right. So let's see choplifter again. See if we can find a choplifter. Okay. So. Anytime now, buddy. There we go. Let's rescue some, the first sortie. Okay. This feels much different, and I'm not sure it, yes, it is, whoa, 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 lady. Okay. It's absolutely doing what it's supposed to do. I mean, it feels like sort of right. Why can't I murder that guy? All right, get in. I do like how you can just like, like, oh, dang. Ah, oh, got greedy. Can you not kill those guys on the ground? Maybe, uh, maybe that's a fact worth knowing. Oh, oh. Right, get in. Get in, bud. Yeah, you. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. All right. All right. Might be getting greedy again. Don't know. Oh, oh yeah. Just pulled it out there at the last second. All right, so let's go back down to the other end. Uh, I, I'm going to say that I'm just I'm getting better at this game. Um, the, this is probably like the first time that I've played this game in like, I don't know, 30 years or something. <laughs> so it's, um, oh, if you let them, if you let them off closer to the base, they unload quicker. There you go. So let's see. Oh, Hey, I, I, I killed your buddy in the plane. Well, maybe you can't kill the tanks. I don't know. Oh, well, I mean, that guy can kill me. Okay, so let's hop back out. And uh, let's go back to Conan. C-O Conan. Maybe we can get Andy Richter to play this with us. <sighs> Ooh, that's... Taking a second there. Very suggestive title screen. Okay, so let's see. Let's see if it will detect. See, oh, it detects this like no problem. Did not, whoa, let's not get killed by the bird. Now this game I do have some experience with. Oh, yep, see, you can cheat right there. Oh, well, thank goodness there's no fall damage. You know what? I am maybe I am just terrible at games. Maybe that is what's going on. See, there we go. Uh, but I will say that Apple Spider Cider is like un like I am not compatible with that game and never have been ever since I was a kid. Uh, Hard Hat Mac though, um, I can I can tear that up, but. I'm thinking my the copy of that that we even had at the grade school that I went to was well that was bad uh was a like a some kind of release group version <laughs> so um so I got to I got to play all those great games you know that uh you couldn't afford because they would buy the computer and then not uh you got to there we go 
and not buy any actual software for it. Okay, now this is the screen that I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. Like, like it's this is one of the things where it's like, this is as far as I've ever been in this game. Oh, well, I don't think you're supposed to do that either. Okay, so I, I would say that these two things appeal to two different maybe types of people. If you want a, like a real deal arcade experience, uh, something that's kind of nostalgic, like for a lot of these games are kind of designed around the idea that you're going to be using a joystick, then you've just got to get a joystick. you got to find somebody that's going to sell you one. Um, one that has been rebuilt is definitely probably the way to go. Um, and again, Javier has a great video that's out there on the Kansas Fest um, YouTube page that's worth checking out. So definitely do that. Now, if you can't get it, or you just don't like, it's an accessibility issue for you potentially, and you just like the idea of game pads, then, I mean, definitely check out the simple joystick for Apple II. It's uh, the Apple II.net folks. Um, this, uh, I, I can't remember how much this was. It was under $50 shipped, that's for sure. Um, so it's it's not a terrible investment. And Javier was very nice, and this, this too was very, very reasonably priced considering everything so anyway everybody um thanks for kind of joining me uh talking a little bit about uh gaming and controllers and stuff at the apple II. and uh, have a wonderful evening and apple II forever excuse you <laughs>